I just had the best idea. My kids' eating habits are kind of driving me crazy. We talk a lot, and I think we do a good job of like keeping it a positive conversation. We don't ever say, don't eat this, do eat this. We don't use the word diet in our family. We don't talk about losing weight in our family, but we do talk about eating foods that fuel our body. What are our goals um, as far as lifestyle? Our kids are in jujitsu and gymnastics. Um, they love to go ride BMX and play out in the yard. We want energy to do those things. Anyways, I feel like our sugar consumption has gotten out of control, but I have an idea. But I gotta go pick up the kids right now, so we're gonna chat in the car. Okay, on our way to school now. So I've been reading this book. It's called The Self-Driven Child. Well, listening to this book. And it's called The Self-Driven Child. I've listened to it once before. It was a couple years ago. And I had the prompting that I should listen to it again. The whole book is about how to give your kids more confidence and more responsibility for their own actions. Oh, it's so good. I feel like it is a necessity for all parents, but especially parents of preteens and teens. Anywho, I wrote down a quote from um, listening to it this morning that was so good. I'm gonna read it to you in just a sec. Here's what it says. Kids are more likely to per persevere and succeed if they know that they don't have to do something. So in other words, um, when they have the opportunity to make a choice for themselves, they are more likely to succeed at that. So it talks about so many different things that our kids have um, on their plate and how stress and all these different things really plays into it. So if they're feeling stressed and feeling pressured to do something, whether it's get their homework done, do their chores, um, follow the rules, or make better food choices, they are gonna be more successful at a long-term um, benefit to whatever it is if they make that choice themselves. Okay, so with that information like in our minds, also, if you want this book, I have a link down in Audible and I think it gives you a discount on like your first month or whatever. Oh, it's so good. And the narrator, some books are amazing, but if the narrator is like a snoozer, I can't, I can't listen to it. Anywho. So we'll link um, the book and if I have a discount code, we'll make sure and put it down there. So here's my idea. My, and I've actually over the years of sharing meal plans and grocery shopping tips, I've shared this with parents of teens and tweens and now that I have those in my house myself, I'm putting this to the test. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to, um, each kid will have their own bin for snacks. And we're gonna have our normal nutritious snacks are eat as much as you want. So um, we're gonna get things that, I'm gonna ask the kids, what foods do you like? And they always say the word nutritious is a bad word. They just like to tease me. Free range, as much as you want, of um, fruits, veggies, I'll be surprised if anyone chooses veggies. Uh, carrot sticks are about as good as it gets at our house. Fruits though, there's quite a few fruits that everyone really likes. And then also, um, proteins. So quick proteins would be like lunch meats, um, Duke sausages I think are a better option, hard boiled eggs, things like guacamole cups and tortilla chips, I think that's good. So they can eat as much of that as they want and it'll be my responsibility to help keep all that stocked. But, like I said, we're not an all or nothing family. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna, so they're gonna help choose all of those healthy snacks. And then, together with the kids, we're gonna decide how much chips and maybe like sweet treats, like cookies or whatever, they think they should be eating a day and then we'll factor that out per week. And they're gonna be responsible for making sure that what they have assigned to themselves for the week, as far as junk food goes, lasts them the whole week. 
Okay, I'm gonna go pick them up and we'll see what they think about this idea. And then I'll take you grocery shopping with us and show you what they pick. I was reading in a book today and it talked about how as a kid it can be really stressful because you don't get to make a lot of choices for yourself. Yeah. Do you feel it? Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. So one thing I thought that I can let you make more choices on is the food you eat. So what I was thinking is you guys know what food helps fuel your, your body and you know what food doesn't fuel your, fuel your body, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll buy a ton of fruits and veggies and like protein that you guys really, really like and you can eat as much of that as you want and I'll just make sure I keep buying more of it. And I thought, but we still can eat snacks, right? So I thought, why don't, if what we'll do at home is, you know those buckets we have in the cabinet? Mm -hmm. You each get your own bucket. Yay, don't eat my snacks. We'll fill it every week, <clears throat> and you're responsible for making sure that that food lasts you for the whole week. Got it, let's go. Okay, okay. Look who, look who happened to be at the store. You gonna come in with us? Yeah. All right. Okay, what were you just saying, Mav, about breakfast? I'm gonna have, I'll, I'm sure. gonna have a, I'm gonna have cereal once a week, and with that cereal, I'm gonna have a sausage and an apple. Okay. So the other thing I was gonna tell you guys is part of it is we also have to get stuff that's on sale. So we can't just buy boxes of cereal because those are expensive, but we can go in and see what's on sale. Okay. So earlier, I did already get a ton of apples and whipped cream, because I thought apples and whipped cream would be a good snack. I also got some bananas and strawberries. Banana okay, banana muffins would be good. Strawberries are on sale, yeah. So we'll get as much fruit and vegetables as you guys want. So make sure we get a lot because this is what you can eat all day long. We already have a bunch of pistachio and peanuts at home. You want one of those fruit roll-ups? Yeah, could I eat it today? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Mav loves carrots, you gonna get some? Does the matter what bag? Well, let's look at the prices. $1.79 for these or $2.29 for the same size. Which one do you think? All right, make sure they're not moldy or anything. Okay, what did you are get? Bananas? Pears are in season, I think, yeah. Okay, pears. Sunflower seeds? You like these? I love them. 349? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, Kennedy, smell these. Plums, yellow lemon. Smell it. I'm gonna try some. Mm, it smells good. Let's try them. Sister Roberts had those. I also was thinking about um, like dried fruit. Do you like any dried fruit? I like Ooh, I like dried strawberries. Okay. Oh no, they're yeah, they're really soft. So be gentle with them. Okay, wait. What did you just say? This is really fun. Everyone has their own cart. <laughs> okay. So far, Mav just has carrots. Got to work on him. All right, Oliver. Did you see any dried fruit? I was telling them we're gonna make sure we get dried fruit without added sugar, which might be hard to find here. Mav, you also wanted a bunch of apples, right? We have some at home. All right. Okay. Oh, what about these? Does anybody want some dried green beans? So the other thing is we are shopping for the month. I hate to go grocery shopping every week. So we're shopping for the month. So we're thinking through how much you think you eat a day. So we multiply that throughout the week. And then um, through the month. Okay. So, how often are you guys going to be eating cereal for breakfast? Once a week. Or for a... Once a week. And when you eat cereal, what are you going to eat with it? I already said. Yeah, I you eat a sandwich. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, what about some protein? No, ro raspberries are vitamins and minerals. I just want them for once. Okay, we'll work on that. Just... How many boxes do you think you need for the whole month? One. Two boxes for the month or one box for the whole month? It's your own box. You think one box is enough? Yeah, I think okay. one's enough. 
So, so if you have your own bag of chips, how many bags of chips do you, like a normal size, do you think you'll eat in a week? Ten. No, I'm just kidding. I eat one a day. I eat one bag a day, remember? No, this size bag. I'll eat. How about snacking a lot for two minutes? I'm asking you, how many do you think you need for a whole week? One bag per week? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, except I don't want to get Okay, but hold on, we're gonna look at the prices too. Okay, it's buy two, get two, right? Yeah. So if you buy two of them, and they're each four seventy nine, how much? What's the math problem that we're gonna do for that? Forty. Um, yeah. Mom, Four dollars. Can be seventy nine times, times, times two. Times two. Is nine fifty eight, but you actually get two more free, so you get four of them. So we divide it by four. Each bag only costs two thirty nine. Oh, so then can we get um, those ones up there? Well, as long the as we buy as it's the same thing as that, it's the same deal. Yeah. I want the as long as we buy four, four total. My dream came okay, now for cookies, a whole pack of cookies for one person. How long do you think this should last you? You don't want to eat the whole thing. Months. I think maybe two weeks. That? Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. You don't think so? Okay, so what I'm thinking is each of you choose two things of cookies for the whole month, okay? Regular Chips Ahoy. Ooh, Chocolate Kennedy, yum. Okay, these are really good after school snacks. They really like the lemon ones, but you can find them for a dollar each, so we're gonna wait until we get them for a dollar each. So you're saying it's 100 bucks that we just spent. It's 100 bucks, so it's $33 a kid, mm -hmm. which means it costs us one dollar a day per kid for snacks. Yeah, one dollar right. per kid. Well, and this is just the junk food. Right, this is just snack food. And so what I told them is I'll buy as much protein, fruits and veggies as they want. Yeah. When we get home, we'll write names on everything so they don't get confused, okay? All right. Was that fun, guys? Yeah. Okay, and I wanna show you something. Okay, what I wanted to show you guys is if we wouldn't have been careful, you know how I kept asking you guys, okay, make sure that you're buying chips off of the same sale? Yeah. If we would have just bought whatever chips we wanted. We'd have two times. That's right. It would have cost $206 for all that food. But we saved $101 because we shopped the sales so instead of 206, it only cost us 105. See how it's important? You can make your money go a lot further if you follow the sales. Okay, let's go home and organize it. change moving forward but I'll explain what we have and what we might change next month as we go so this used to have a bunch of different just like miscellaneous snacks we do like chips and crackers and whatever this is kind of condiment miscellaneous but now let me show you each kid has their own bin okay so each kid has their own bin and they're super full right now so one bag of chips per week and one thing of cookies per two weeks. So we explained that on Friday, we will restock depending on what it is. So what I was thinking, they might get tired of eating just one chip, like only lime Tostitos, only Oreo cookies each week, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Then we told them everyone gets one box of cereal per month. So. I I just don't love them eating cereal for breakfast. So we made arrangements. If they have a bowl of cereal, they're gonna eat a protein and maybe some fruit with it. So Kennedy has a box, Mav has a box, Oliver has a box, mom and dad have a box <laughs> for the whole month. 
so excited for this for dessert. That's what I like it. Okay, so this is where, this is gonna last us for one week till Friday. So let me go show you where we're storing the rest of it. Okay, this is out in our garage next to our freezers. Uh, oh, me and hubby. Okay, we have our own. So this used to have extra snacks. Now it's one per kid. We've written names on all the snacks, so there's no fighting. That's my bag. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm just showing you our junk food right now. So this is junk food for one kid for the whole month. And I was feeling anxious because I'm like, man, this feels like a lot of junk food for one kid. But if you think about how many small bags of chips the kids were going through, the rule was one small bag of chips a day. I don't think they followed that rule. You know, I kind of feel like this might end up being actually less junk food than they had before. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So on Fridays, they'll come out here and they can choose which bag of chips they want for the next month. I mean the next week. So that was the food that kind of is like, they are gonna learn to um, portion themselves because they have limits on it. Now they can eat as much of this kind of stuff that I'm about to show you as much as they want. And I told them I will refill it as much as we need. So to start, we've got oranges, apples, pears. What were these things called? I don't even remember what they are, but it smells like Smells like a peach. Careful, they're very, they're very soft. Don't yes, squeeze them. They are. Don't squeeze them. So, um, and then we've got a few things of strawberries. These are big apples. They're huge, huh? I got some apples, and I got even some whipped cream from them to dip in. And then um, we have some raspberries. I hard boiled some eggs. There's um, more fruit in here to refill down here, as needed. And then um, they can snack on lunch meats. I like getting the Duke sausage. I feel like that's a clean option for some fast protein, not the best. They can snack on cheese. Cottage cheese is another good snack that they could have. Um, sometimes we'll have yogurt and granola. This is very empty right now. We're about ready to do monthly grocery shopping. And then this one, this is also fair game for everybody to eat as much as they want. So we have some honey roasted almonds. Um, pistachios, peanuts in the shell, and then also sunflower seeds. Okay, so that is our new snack system. And we'll report back in one month and um, share with you how it went, how the pros, the cons, and what we'll be changing for the next month. So I'm hoping that this snack system reduces um the involvement that we need from parents like they're pretty good about asking like can we have a snack can we not this is going to help them become more um self-reliant so they can learn how to regulate the snacks with also the nutrient dense foods to make sure that their stomachs are full you know all that good stuff that we talked about all right if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe we talk about all the things that help support families and unify them makes life a lot easier we'll talk to you soon bye, bye.